Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in June, I posted a video that Microsoft wants to move Windows 11 or a possible Windows 12 more into the cloud. And as I mentioned uh, in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, this was according to an internal document where Microsoft wants to, and I'm quoting, build on Windows 365 to enable a full Windows operating system stream from the cloud to any device. Now, as mentioned, go check that video out just to fill in all the gaps. But just to build upon what I mentioned back in June in that video, and um, there is some more information that's come to light that is pointing in this direction, which has been spotted by the German site Deskmodder, who have basically found uh, um, new evidence of a subscription-based version of Windows. And um, I must just say at the outset, though, that none of this has been um, officially confirmed by Microsoft. So we are um, treating this as speculation. But nonetheless, um, we have been talking about a future version of Windows or a possible Windows 12 on the channel. And just wanted to keep you updated and posted it in the loop because some of this is kind of pointing into that direction. Now, as mentioned, um, this was spotted by a desk modder. And um, it was spotted in the most recent Canary channel inside a build of Windows 11, which to my knowledge um, was built and is built 25951, which uh, rolled out around about the middle of September last month. And um, this uh, subscription-based version of Windows um, was spotted uh, in the INR configuration file of the said canary channel build now if we just head over to a screenshot provided by desk modder this could give us a little bit more info and yeah they compared um windows 11 version 23h2 which is currently in the release pre preview build and compared it to windows canary as mentioned um the latest canary build and yeah we can see they used win merge uh, to get to their results now this looks like quite a mouthful and obviously this is in german because it was spotted in a german a build of and version of the canary build but basically i'm um, just to simplify this for the purpose of today's video um the subscription versions were broken down into three categories um a subscription edition was spotted a subscription type was spotted and the subscription status was spotted uh, in this inr file uh, in windows uh, that latest canary channel build now, just to even break this down a little bit further, um, just to kind of put this all into context, if there's a little bit of confusion. Now, how, how I see this personally, and as mentioned, this hasn't been confirmed by Microsoft, but how I could see a possible um, Windows subscription um, rolling out, um, I would compare it basically to um, a standalone version of Office, where you pay once off and then you get Office or a current Microsoft 365 subscription, which has Office integrated into the subscription and obviously gets a lot more frequent f new features and updates and so on and quality updates. And I think if Microsoft did head in that direction, it would um, be based on a very similar principle where you would get your standalone Windows, like you purchase Windows or get Windows on a, a new computer as an example. And then you would be able to get a subscription based version of windows which will get more frequent updates more new features and so on and so on and of, as i mentioned obviously at this stage this is pure speculation but that's how i kind of break it down just to simplify it for the purpose of this video and uh, um, already as i've posted previously a uh, microsoft with a possible windows 12 or a future version of windows is focusing more on ar artificial intelligence as well and already we have received the new co-pilot uh, in the Moment 4 feature update that rolled out to the stable version of Windows 11 last week. So this is already pointing in that direction. And uh, if you want more info regarding a possible Windows 12, I'll leave the playlist uh, in the end screen of this video. And just to finish off, um, if if it does come to a, a, a possible subscription-based version of Windows, it's too early to say how that will actually roll out and what options will be available but um, as mentioned basically you get just you would get your standalone and then you would get your subscription based but anyway if more information comes to light it's still early days and as i mentioned pure speculation at this stage but if more information does come to light obviously i will post and keep you guys in the loop so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one